Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Total War Warhammer Legendary Lord Lore video. And today we are talking about Festus, the Leech Lord. Dr. Festus started his life as a surgeon and specialist in curative agents and salves located in the province of Nordland. As compassionate as he was gifted, the good doctor cured hundreds of people every year. Under Festus's guidance, Nordland overcame outbreaks of screaming ague, black legge, and even the crippling ghoulpox. He was respected by physicians, alchemists, and scientists across the length and breadth of the old world. He set up hospices all across Nordland, and in newer lore, he was said to have set up the Tinian Fellowship named after an ancient Tilian city renowned for its healers. The fellowship allowed medical practitioners to exchange ideas and best practices all across the empire. Soon, however, Festus encountered the gnashing fever, a disease for which he could find no cure. A new and highly contagious disease, it ripped through the population. Festus was desperate to save people's lives, but every solution he tried Failed. Countless sleepless nights passed as Festus locked himself in the laboratory working ceaselessly to create a healing elixir, but as the last of the plague victims sequestered to his lab violently shook themselves to death in front of him, Festus despaired. Falling to his knees, Festus cried out to the void for help. Around Festus's lab, the corpses of the plague victims began to rise. As the cloths covering their bodies fell to the floor, their heads turned towards the doctor in unison and spoke in one voice emanating from a score of parched throats. They promised to give Festus all the knowledge necessary to cure not only this plague, but all the diseases in the world. In exchange, all they requested was a lifetime of service. In his utter despair, Dr. Festus agreed, and the deal was struck. Festus had pledged himself to Grandfather Nurgle. He was bestowed with many gifts from Nurgle, and in the blink of a bloodshot eye, Festus's mind was filled with every detail of every sickness, ailment, and plague known to the great god Nurgle. This drove him entirely mad and washed away his compassion, leaving nothing but an intimate knowledge of disease and a desire to experiment. Festus became the Leech Lord of Nurgle, who goes to war in the name of furthering his revolting studies. Though his curative powers are greater than ever before, woe betide the fool who crosses the Doctor, for he is always in need of a new test subject, and not above force-feeding his latest concoctions to his victims in his quest to bring ever more repugnant forms of life into the world. It is a better fate by far to die on the field of battle than to be captured alive by Festus and used for his latest dark experiments. This corruption spread to all of his creations, including the Tillian Society, where he subtly encouraged by means of correspondence its members to turn to the way of Nurgle and carry out unethical experiments wherever possible on all of the victims of disease they could possibly get their hands on. The Society's tendrils have now spread throughout the Empire. One of his most notorious incidents occurred in the year 2516, where the son of Aldebrand Ludenhoff, the Elector Count of Hochland, fell ill with a mysterious disease. A dark cloaked stranger arrived in court and offered to treat the Elector Count's son. The symptoms seemed to pass, and the doctor left with instructions for the boy to drink a potion should the symptoms reemerge. Inevitably, they did, and upon drinking the elixir, the Elector Count's son transformed into a hideous mutant that slaughtered a dozen of the Count's most trusted advisors before slopping off to the north to obey its new master, Festus, the Leech Lord. Again, in the year 2520, he unleashed a strain of ice slime fever so virulent that the deaths it caused allowed a horde of demons to manifest within the Empire, laying siege to the city of Middendorf. 
To see Dr. Festus now, he would present a shuffling, muttering figure, stalking the lands of the Empire. His travels would be accompanied by the sound of gentle clinking, as the vials containing unimaginable concoctions which he is seeking to test upon those he can catch or deceive clash together. A devotee of the plague god Nurgle now, this mysterious apothecary is quite, quite mad. It would truly be an unfortunate traveller who would wander into the path of the wandering Dr. Festus. And that's about it for the tale of Festus the Leech Lord, the Dark Apothecary, Old Sawbones. In terms of how Dr. Festus played on the tabletop, he had a couple of interesting abilities, uh, one of which was the Harbinger of Pestilence, which on the tabletop allowed any unit Festus joined to gain poison attacks, and he also had the ability of healing elixirs, which meant that he granted regeneration to any unit he was in as well. In terms of his magical items, he had the Pestilent Potions, Festus, of course, being a walking repository of salves and foul-smelling potions. To one blessed by the Grandfather Nurgle, these elixirs are restorative brews, but to others, they are deadly poisons. The idea was he would douse one of these potions and either regain a wound, or he could try to force one down the throat of the enemy, in which case the two players would roll off for a strength test. And if the Festus player's roll was equal to or higher that of the enemy, then they would immediately suffer a D3 wounds with no armor saves allowed. So he's just forcing the concoctions down the throats of his enemies, which I always thought was beautifully exemplified in the model. And that's about it from Festus here, ladies and gentlemen. Do check out the videos for the other legendary lords in Total War Warhammer 3. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to catch you all on the next one. All right, guys? Bye.